It's 100% complementary. And it's, you know, your womb is your seed center of creativity. It's your seed center of manifestation. We have a relationship with our womb that most of us aren't even aware of, but it is there. You know, your womb reflects your heart. So what's going on in the heart, emotions that haven't been processed, are blocking your abundance, blocking your ability to create what you desire and keeps you trapped in things that you don't desire. Then there's that dis harmony. Now remember, we are energy beings, electromagnetic energy beings. And therefore, if we're in a state of disharmony, it creates dis-ease, be it physical, mental, emotional. But because we are multidimensional beings, we can rise on up and heal ourselves from our outer layers in. Our physical layer is our third layer. Some of us have up to 22 layers, which correspond with 22 different dimensions. Most of us have 14. So I work with the different levels, layers, and dimensions when I have my key energy healing sessions with my clients. So if any of this interests you, let me know. I'd love for you to get the support to start by blooming your womb. Bloom your womb. Really powerful. This is a 30-day protocol. It will change your life for the better. It will help to re-empower you and your feminine power you know the the goddess within we've we've been conditioned for many years to frown upon the feminine ways oh it's just weak you're vulnerable you're this you're that and we've been rewarded in society to be more masculine you know to to have that masculine go-getter energy to strive to achieve to you know crawl over others to get where you need to go for some of us but that's not the feminine energy and that's not where your power lies Men have more energy than women, okay? They have more masculine energy. That's the yang energy. Women have more magnetism. So all you need to do is open up to receive. But to do that, you need to activate self-love or you won't receive what you truly desire because you won't feel worthy and it will be reflected. And if you have womb issues, like you've suffered a miscarriage or you've got endometriosis or whatever it may be. Maybe you've got really heavy periods, painful periods. This is a sign of a womb communicating with you to say we need more balance, more harmony. So it would be a beautiful way for you to really harness self-love and empowerment by looking at your womb. Now, this is, like I say, it's a course that I've run in the past, since 2019, a couple of times, but I'm tweaking it with new energy, new codes, new vibration. Like I say, there's already 50 women signed up. There's going to be more. It's a real powerhouse of energy. And I want you to tap into this. It's raw, it's real, and it's time that you really honor the creatrix that you are, the inner goddess that you are. You are co-creating here on Mother Earth, with Mother Earth, as the mother that you are. And it doesn't matter where you are on your fertility journey. You may even not want to be having children right now, or you may have just had your final child. You don't want to have any more children, but you can help to restore and heal your womb and to improve the relationship with your womb and improve your ability to create, improve your ability to manifest. And that's what I'm inviting you to do. So if you're interested in the Bloom Your Womb protocol, Make sure that you are signed up to the Awakening Fertility newsletter. So I'll add the link below. That way you've got a a direct connection. You might have already signed up and say, hey, I don't even receive these emails. Then save the email, support at awakeningfertility.com. Support at awakeningfertility.com. Save it as a contact because the emails are coming through, but they're obviously just going to your junk. And this is really valuable. It's the only way you can access this through is through the newsletter. So please jump on in. And if you're watching this replay, and if it's past January, it doesn't matter. There will be a link for you um, to be able to, to register to access the Bloom Your Womb at a later date. So this is powerful, powerful information. It's like bringing forward that grandmother wisdom that you now have access to, that you can now embody. Because that's the difference. When you work on on 
embodiment, embodiment. You know, when you're working with me, I make sure that you embody the teachings. Otherwise, you're just reading it, doesn't go in, there's no change. I want you to be empowered. And this is a beautiful way through little ceremonies, little rituals for you, for you, but you're harnessing the energy of all the other women who are doing this and who have done same ritual goddess work in the past. Now, it's not religious. Um, Whatever religion you are, you are welcome to join. Even if you're not religious, you're welcome to join. It's about you empowering you and your connection to your womb, which is your seed center of wisdom and creativity as well as abundance. So on that note, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to connecting with you again next week.